Hey guys, it's me. Um, I wanted to give you some news, uh, stories, updates, all that good stuff. Um, this is hopefully the final day that this feuding is going on. I mean, like we have to duke it out, and um, it's so sad when a 45 year old woman with grandkids and everything cannot even admit to what she's done it's a shame because me being 20 i'm like yeah i did this i did that i did this i said this i didn't do that i would never do that i wanted to do this like i'm i'll admit to you everything i've done i don't mean, care i've done it i meant it i don't care but she's gonna admit to anything and of course it's like I'm going for it. Like I get that huge question that my general manager is on the person who started it and can use it. Yeah. So we duped it out and I felt like we got nowhere. That's how I felt. But I mean I'm not gonna hold a fucking grudge. I'm not, that's not me. If I would have held a grudge, me and my brother, we wouldn't be talking. Ever. Because we have gone to so many fights and we never talk it out. Never. But, I mean, I love my brother to death. I will do anything for my brothers, my sister. You know, they're my family. I love them with all my heart. Nobody fucks with them because that's my family. You know, and I'm pretty sure it's the same way when it comes down to it. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with him. Like, that's how we are. We're family. We all got each other's backs. Um, and that's how it is at Wawa, though. Whether I want to admit it or not. Like, we're all family. And I know we all love each other. Because I know that I missed her. And, you know, she missed us just as much as we missed her. Like we're all one big fan. I'm not gonna hold a grudge on you just because you said stuff about me. So I know I say things when I'm mad. I mean it when I'm mad, but you know, I'm sorry that I say it. But I called her out plenty of times on her talking about me. Um for her hitting my face, all this stuff, and then she turns around, I'm just trying to apologize and I never said anything about about you and like I'm calling her on everything she said so I hear I'm not stupid and I see it I'm not stupid and uh, whenever I called her out on the lie that was true like the comment about how she wants to punch me in the face she's like I wish they was there and I'm like that's funny because Theo came to us and was like yeah she did say that. so I thought that was funny but I felt like everybody was getting up on me. Like, it was my fault. Like, if I got in her face, like, if I started with her, like, it was all my fault. And she wants to act all. Like, she was like, oh, how sweet and innocent. You know, she's talking all proper now. Like, bullshit. That's what I call bullshit. But, you know, I was mad at first, but like don't take it out on the customer but I'm like why would I take it out on the customer but I love my customers I can turn it on and off like I don't care but half the stuff I'm not I'm my customers my customers make me happy they're the, they're the ones who you know make me feel better when all this stuff is going down because they make me happy because I'm known as smiling so they everybody really saw me smile which of course makes me smile and in reality, but it sucks. Um, so my hair's better. My hair's getting too long. It's like they're getting my neck. Um, yeah, so she kept going on about everything I was telling Theo, and she's like, uh, well, didn't you tell me, you know, give me some time and I'll talk to you when I'm done, when I'm ready to? And I'm like, that's so funny because I never talked to you. Period. If it wasn't hey can I porter the hey can I nickels or some good job related, like I don't really talk to you. I came up to Theo and I'm like, yeah. You just need to give me my time and my space and when I'm ready, I will come to you. 
and yeah, I came to him. We talked it out. We worked it out. He admitted to calling me a witch and how I had a voodoo doll. And he said that of anger. And I'm like, we're so cool. And Jackie still can't admit that she's angry. I say things when I'm angry. And I'll admit it. Why can't you say things when... Why can't you admit that you said things when you're angry? So I mean, in reality, I don't care what you say about me. Just don't lie to my face and say, oh, I didn't say it. Because I clearly know you did. And as for the whole bitch thing, I don't care who calls me a bitch. I call myself a bitch. I'm a bitch. Sorry. I'm what are you That's what we're known as. It's a very true stereotype. We're very bitchy. We have anger problems. We have anger issues. And we like to stab people. That's our stereotype. And it's true. It's a stereotype for a reason. But then I told Thea, you know, I don't know why she's just messing with me because I'm the wrong Puerto Rican to be messed with. I'm the wrong Puerto Rican because I will be the first one to be in your face. I'm not going to sit back and be like, oh, no, I'm not going to do anything so I'm scared of you. No. So I think it's funny how the there's two Puerto Ricans in the store and we both came at her. Both came at her. As for everybody else, they're just like, oh, no, that's is Jackie. I'm not going to say anything. Hmm. She again told Tammy, I'm trying to hear this, I'm Puerto Rican, you don't want to mess with me and stuff. I'm like, I don't know what to You had your food. Everybody's got the one when I'm down your throat. I'm not going to like, I'm Puerto Rican, you don't want to mess with me. You are You really messed with me. And then she was like, and then I'm like, you didn't even tell me on that Facebook, tell me to go the fuck up. And then you we were like, oh. I never said that. Don't play that. Don't play that. We already know it was about me. And I have never mentioned names in my Facebook statuses when I'm frustrated. And of course people see that from. And whoever I'm frustrated with at that week, they see the from. And I got in trouble twice for it already. So why can't she get in trouble for telling me to go the fuck up when clearly it was fine? Nothing. He was just really on her side no matter what. And I'm like, and she keeps saying, oh, well, she's probably not really talking about you. Like, you just need to not listen to what other people say. And I'm like, I hear that. Don't deny that I hear that. With my own ears. Like, are you serious? And I'm like, I don't know why it's like, being pushed aside then I'm like oh she's talking about me like how many times does somebody have to, to be like oh Jackie's talking about you me before you actually do something like how many people have come up to you so far and said Jackie's talking about me like I hear it like seriously cause I know once when I was a situation and nothing was done and she's like what do you want done I'm like I want her to stop talking that's what I want done and obviously you're not doing anything. That was that lovely thing. Um, but yeah, like I obviously, I'm not gonna sit here and hold a grudge and be mad at you for you saying something about me out of anger. You know, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm sorry, and so you'll be like, I'm sorry. Because, um, I don't feel bad for coming at you for you coming at me. I don't feel bad. I insulted it so I'm not gonna apologize. Um, but yeah, we had a little conversation, and, uh, basically the conversation was about this, and it looks like a piece of paper, but some guy came up to me and asked me out, oh, it's his number, he asked me out, it was like one of the, the regular customers, he comes in, like, every day, like, around 4 o'clock, and he used to call me smiley or cutie or something adorable. And he's like, oh, being excited when you come in. Right? So adorable. So smiley. Um, he works at the jail down here where I live. Um, and it's like, I mean, it's way nothing special. And, um, he was talking about how much he liked me. He was 
like something wrong to it, like you have boyfriends, and you like late. Um, all this goodness. <laughs> He's like, what do you do outside of your job? And I'm like, I'm really sleeping now because I'm really so tired. And I come in and I get home from work and I'm just like, I, I sleep and I, I work. That's all I have time to do nowadays. And he was like, he's like, well, do you ever want to go out with me? And I'm like, I'm kind of talking to somebody special at the moment. Like, I was like, so I'm like, well, if you change your mind, here's my number. Here's my number. Here's my number. I have to make sure he wasn't married because he's an older guy. And I just thought it was funny how I look like I'm 12 and he would hit on me. Adorable. So adorable. I'm gonna have to decline though because I have history with a dude that broke up the same girl. I don't know if he still works there, but I don't really care. He called me a freak for being gay. And um, I'm not gonna deny liking girls, but I'm gonna, you know, say that I'm very confused at the moment as to what my sexuality is, to the fact that I've never experimented with girls either. I'm just very confused. And um, I only liked one real guy. I just like two guys. But this one just got on my nerves so bad that I'm just like over him. Um but I felt more comfortable around him than Jason. But I like Jason. He's such a sweetheart. And I definitely want to see, you know, where that goes, if it will most high before I give up with him. Um, yeah. So I am the next 10. Being bad. So I can't be rude and, like, see him and be like, oh, so sad. Yeah, it's happened a few times. People are like, I gave you my number, you never text me, what's up with that, I'm like, see, sorry, not interested. Yeah. Um, so that's my story, um, I think I'm going to try getting some laundry done before I go to bed, but I have to go back into work at 11, and, um, I had to request off for 30th for my nephew's little graduation thing, he's going to be wearing a cap and gown. And uh, he's only two. My little baby boy. He's going to be so big. He's out of pressures. He I'm constantly throwing pictures up. And that's my, another thing. Like, I'll talk to Jackie about my nephews because my babies are my world. And I'm not sure if you do want to say or not. My babies. Where there's women in the world. I'm gonna get a good picture. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna change so much. It's real dark. That's my little baby boy. We're watching TV together. Perfect. We're watching TV.